Hello everyone! Here we are back at my mega mushroom farm, which is my latest amazingly stupid idea. But we're gonna go just a little further with this today because I didn't really give it a fair chance the first time because after spending so many hours getting to this point, I got really annoyed with the result and just kinda gave up. The problem was, it took 14 years to make all these mushrooms grow and then put tappers on them and that only produced about 15,000 gold, which isn't really good enough for 14 years worth of effort. One thing I didn't consider though is that in other seasons these tappers actually produce more valuable mushrooms, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. And if this doesn't work out, it's just on to my next stupid idea. Anyways, the first thing I'm going to do is just collect a few of the mushrooms right outside my door and wait a few days to see if spring can produce any other kinds of mushrooms. It takes about 3 days to produce, so this should be easy enough to see. I wonder what this idiot thinks of mushrooms. Ah, oh, that's such a stupid gift. Well, you better get used to it, because that's pretty much all I have. And one more just for good measure. It's now been a few days, I presume it's still going to be regular mushrooms. Yes it is. We'll try it just one more time. Pick 5, 6, 7 mushrooms, wait another 3, 4 days? Probably to get another disappointing result. If my voice sounds a little different by the way, I've been pretty sick lately so uh, that's what that is. This video brought to you by Tylenol Cold and Flu and Monster Energy because I'm full of good ideas. Okay, so clearly in spring these tappers can only produce regular boring mushrooms. That's okay, it will soon be summer, we'll see what happens then. I think I'm actually going to skip right through summer though, right to fall. Actually, I lied, that would be stupid, let's just go to summer and see what happens there. Why bother skipping a whole season? Okay, I've made a pretty obvious mistake, I was already in summer so it's now fall. I'm going to go ahead and blame that on my frames per second counter that I have covering my season screen. Anyways, the same test still applies, going to pick a few of the mushrooms right outside my door and hopefully they'll be replaced with valuable mushrooms. Alright, that should be a decent enough sample size. I presume it will spawn mostly regular mushrooms, but a few of the red and maybe even one or two purples, which are the valuable ones. So far, just lots of the regular mushrooms. There is not one other mushroom amongst them, and I picked 15 approximately, and not one of them changed into something valuable. Which seems strange, because I have it from multiple sources that these trees, these tappers, can produce all kinds of mushrooms. Now, the only idea I have left really at this point is that it takes some time for these trees to produce valuable mushrooms, so I'm just going to wait another year till next fall to see if anything changes. What's another year at this point? I've already spent 150 hours doing this. And Haley gets a lobster from my magic cat machine. Here you are, gross. Well, we're back around to spring, so same test, different year. And exactly the same result, nothing but plain mushrooms. How exciting. Well, let's try summer. Summertime! Really hope this works soon because this video is going nowhere fast. Well, summer hasn't produced anything useful. On to fall. Fall, one year later. Last chance for these stupid trees. And did it work? Uh, nope. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna blow up every one of these stupid trees and take the red mushrooms from their corpses. And for bombs, we need iron and coal. And just like that, several hundred thousand gold later, we have 552 bombs. But before I execute these trees, I'm going to get rid of any mushrooms that are on me and even the wood for now because I want to see how much crap I collect once these all die. Hiya wife, I brought you a candle. Well, guess she didn't take the hint. My strategy for blowing these up is pretty simple. I've simply chopped a clean little path through the saplings, at which point I'm going to run to the end of it and start dropping bombs all the way along the path and watch them all blow up helplessly, clearing out a rather large swath very quickly. Then I simply collect all the red mushrooms and wood. So I just need to do that several hundred times and I'll have all the mushrooms I could ever want. As it turns out, some of these stumps apparently can also give me purple mushrooms. Out of the 270 reds I've collected so far, I've got two purple. One of the problems with bombing this farm is the abundance of water on this layout, because as the trees blow up, I lose a bunch of crap into the water. Almost done, just gotta carefully navigate around my chests with the bombs and it's already 11pm. Might not even get this done in one day. Yep, I'm actually gonna run out of time. Five mushrooms left. Just couldn't make it, even with the bombs. That won't be a problem though, I have all day to cut down five single mushroom trees. And just like that, this is now a mushroom free farm. So from bombing all those and killing them, I've gotten 999 plus 999 red mushrooms plus another 69, hilariously enough, and 6 purple mushrooms. Keep in mind, I did destroy most of the tappers and therefore did not really gather any of their contents. So we'll see what this is all worth. 
open the bin, purple, red, 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 and we'll go to sleep. Oh, and I collected, I don't know, lots of wood, 6,000, 7,000, whole bunch of sap. Nothing really exciting. So the total for my little field, 156,525 gold. Basically all in the red mushrooms, obviously, because that was the bulk of them. They're all standard quality because they're not considered a forged item. That's a little bit better than the 15,000 I get from my regular mushroom tappers. A 150,000 gold, however, is not worth the 16 years it took to do this. So, once again, stupid idea, no matter how you slice it. And just for a comparison's sake, let's go find the mushroom level in the mines. I will track it to a good floor on a good day, and I will show you how much more valuable it is just to find that, rather than turn your entire stupid field into stupid mushroom trees. And I'm going to do this the easy way, of course, by buying a billion dollars worth of stones, turning those into staircases, and using that to very quickly find the desired floor in the mines. So, as per usual, floor 80. 81. Oh. That was easy. Guess I didn't have to buy all those rocks. Well, that's a pretty amazing coincidence. It doesn't really work in my favor. I guess I'll just restart the day and hit floor 81 again and again. Cool. All right, so starting the day all over again, I've just depleted my backpack of all the crap I don't want. I'm gonna drink a coffee, head to the minecart, straight to floor 81. I'm gonna continually hit 81, load up on mushrooms, and try and get more than 150,000 gold worth. Keep in mind that my foraging skill is not level 10, so they will not all be iridium quality at this point. It is now 1am. After an exciting day of picking mushrooms, I'm headed home to sleep. This isn't home. Going to the bus stop. So I've obviously picked far less mushrooms than I bombed up in my field, but I did get a lot more quality mushrooms and a lot more purple mushrooms, so that should close the money gap quite a bit. I don't think I found as much as my field was worth, but still pretty good for a single day. Obviously foraging is gonna level up. I picked several hundred mushrooms. And I still managed to make 50,000 gold, which is a third of what it took me to do in 16 years with my field essentially. Could have done it in 14, but that's beside the point. Clearly the mushroom level is a lot more valuable, and if my foraging was level 10, they would all be iridium quality and worth probably a lot more. I think it's safe to say if your foraging skill was level 10, you could do 150,000 gold in two days rather than growing your field into mushroom trees and doing that whole thing again. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I think that's case closed on the whole mushroom thing. Glad I got it out of the way. That was actually something I wanted to do for a long time. I'm glad I waited so long because it took a long time and it was really stupid in the end. Anyways, more mod videos coming up in the next few days. Hope you like this one. Thank you for watching. Wow, I haven't looked in my fruit cave in a while.